Hi everyone, it's Karen. Welcome to day 20 in our 24 days of tags for this year. Here we've got something in really traditional reds and greens, something really simple but oh my goodness so much fun. We're using a gel plate and we'll get started. So I'm going to be using my three and a half by seven inch gel plate. I'm going to take a whole print and then I'm going to cut the tag down to size. I'm using my speedball brayer. This is my painty one. The other one I was using the other day was my inky one. And I'm also going to be using Paper Artsy Fresco Finish paints. These are chalk acrylic paints. I love them. They work so well on the gel plate. They do dry really quickly, but once you've learned how quickly to work with them, it's a piece of cake. Their color range is amazing. I just love them. So the one that I'm going to be using here is Zucchini. It's an opaque paint. You can use any acrylic paint. It just might dry a little slower. So I'm just making a lovely even print with my gel plate. And here I'm just taking a bit of the paint off my brayer. And I'm going to be using some sequin waste. I actually was after some bubble wrap, but I couldn't find it. Can you believe it? I had no bubble wrap. Now you see I wasn't messing about there. I put the sequin waste down on the wet paint and I am now pulling So you could actually use that because that's pretty funky. But what I do want to use is this. So you can see I pressed hard down on that paper to remove some of the paint. I'm now putting my tag directly down there. And I'm now pressing my tag hard into the paint and that print. As I say, I'm using sequin waste here, but uh, bubble wrap would do the trick. And look what we've got, something so funky. So you can see that I've got an uneven print there, and that's exactly what I wanted. Well, I'm going to say that, aren't I? No, <laughs> truly, it is what I wanted. Otherwise, it would look, look so uniform. The way I got that was by pressing harder in certain parts when I had that sequin waste on top of the gel plate. So when I was pressing this paper down, I pressed harder in different areas in order to get a bit more of that paint off, which would create some interest on our tag once we pull the print. So, I'm just gonna move all of that out the way. And now we're just gonna do our stamping. For this, I'm going to be using the Sweet Poppy Stencil Stamp Set called Noel. You'll see me used it before because I just love it. We're gonna be using this snowflake and the lovely word Noel. And to stamp on that, I'm going to be using VersaFine Claire. I've got Tulip Red here. It's a lovely, even though the colour on it looks a bit orangey, doesn't it? But when it stamps, it's a nice, vibrant red. So I've got my Noel on my stamp block here. And I'm just going to stamp my Noel at an angle sort of three quarters of the way down the tag. I'm also going to take my snowflake and I'm just going to stamp this at random points over the tag. As before, some of them are off the tag, some of them are more 
on the tag, some are peeping out. Just adds a bit more interest. I give it one more, I like uneven numbers. There we go. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little smoothie and I'm just going to blend around the edge. Isn't that fun? So easy. I've used the traditional colours there. I'm just going to punch a hole in the top of the tag. And hey presto, how quick was that? So whilst you've got your gel plate out, why don't you have some fun? Play with lots of paints, lots of stencils, lots of colours. I'd love to see what you make. Thanks for watching. Bye.